And we start tonight on 12 News at 10 with the scary moments for a family in Mesa. They woke up to someone trying to break into their home. The family coming face to face with the intruder holding a crowbar. Good evening, everyone. I'm Rachel Cole. 12 News journalist Chase Golightly spoke with the family about the encounter and joins us from Mesa with the details. It wasn't Santa Claus who was trying to get inside the Vasquez family home near Gilbert and Brown Roads. Mesa police say it was a teenager living at a group home who escaped. See like my window smashed in the indentions right here from the crowbar itself. Uh, my mirrors knocked off. This isn't the Christmas present Remy Vasquez and her family were hoping for this year. I actually started crying because it caught me by surprise. A few days ago, just past midnight while everyone was sleeping. I heard like a boom, boom, boom. Stevie Vasquez and everyone else heard something suspicious. It was banging like it was fireworks. Once they realized it didn't come from anyone inside the home, their older brother went out side to check. It's definitely a scary situation. That's when they saw this person carrying a hammer and crowbar by Remy's car. My brother was like, what are you doing? And that's when the chase started. The suspect taking off down the road with the Vasquez family after him. I just took off running, following him and my brother. I had my taser and I was running down. They cornered the suspect in this cul-de-sac as police were on their way. I was asking him about his parents, you know, where were his parents? And that's when he had said, you know, he was, you know, in the group home. It turns out Mesa police say the suspect was a 16 year old who escaped from a nearby group home about an hour before he tried to break into the Vasquez home. You can tell he was prying open these panels with the crowbar. He did admit he was saying I was trying to get into the Honda, which is my car. Getting the hammer and crowbar from that group home. If these kids are running out doing crimes, they need to be held accountable too. The teenager was taken into custody, but this random attack has the Vasquez family with hundreds of dollars in damages in fear it could happen again. It's just not fair, especially around these holidays. I also think of it as like a wake up call to never let your guard down. Mesa police tell us that 16 year old suspect was taken to the Durango Juvenile Detention Center in Phoenix and was charged in this case. We're in Mesa tonight. Chase Golightly, 12 News. I'm glad nobody was hurt. Chase, thank you for the details on that story.